Hello, this is Brian again. Welcome to the next clip. Well, the dirt road is just over there. We broke off of it because as the summit gets nearer as we go up this way, my friend and I have found the large limber pine, Pinus flexilis. This is it right here. Huge multi-trunk specimen of this tree. Pinus flexilis. Limber pine. This is the first time I've been right here on limber pine since 2020, because 2021 I didn't get by any of these trees. But here we are. Yes. This is a nice, quite older, quite older specimen. You can see we've got multiple, humongous multiple trunks here at the base. An extremely picturesque tree. And here are the cones. They got, uh, so just like being a member of the white slash soft pine group, they have very gentle cones. Let's we'll see here. Yes. See, the gentle cones are very much like the cones you get in sugar pine, only much, much shorter in length, and western white pine. So check my spotlight videos on limber pine, western white pine, and sugar pine, or did I say sugar pine, western white pine, and limber pine, I'm sorry. Check my videos on those to see some comparisons in the way the cones look. But this is a limber pine cone right here that's still partially closed. Uh, I believe, looks like all the seeds coming out of it right here. Well, that's what a limber pine cone looks like before it's fully open. Again, they have, they're structurally a lot softer than your Jeffrey pines and uh, yellow other yellow pine species so if they hit you they really won't do any damage they just might they might uh, sting a little bit let me go around the other side of this tree this really is an amazing tree yeah i know the one i held was the same way they already dispersed everything hopefully but again kind of Light grayish, bluish green needles, five in a bundle again, denoting this is a white pine. Yeah, probably did a bit. This is a maybe a very short tree, maybe about 35 40 feet tall, maybe short in height. But look at the trunks, just absolutely. This is the second time I've been by this tree. First time was before I started recording video back in 2016, but it really does. It's an absolutely stunning tree. Yeah, right, exactly. Just look, just look at the trunks meeting here at the base. The just a little and a big old root, big old root knot here at the bottom. Yeah, I've, ever since I first saw this tree, I've always remembered this beautiful tree near the, not that far from the top of Mount Pinos. It's just a little bit of a walk that way. Uh, like I said, getting up here is easy. You might get a little, a little bit of uh, shortness of breath because you're at a little bit of elevation. Because we're probably about 8,700 feet here, but it's such an easy hike to get up here. We're getting close to the summit already. The two miles go by really fast, especially because it's a beautiful forest coming up here. But I've always been in awe of this tree. I've taken pictures of it, and this is before I started recording video, and I I think I put it on my peakery when I climbed uh, Mount Pinos the first time. Boy, I just... And I'm here listening to the winds, uh, wind blowing through this. Hopefully you can hear it on camera. But the wind blowing through the pine trees here is just creating mountain music. And it's just... I love the sound of it. Our friend and I are just having just an, an awe, awe experience. I'm kind of glad we were going to do, uh, we were going to try to do a Scapula Peak or Takuya Mountain in the Santa Migdios near Fraser Park and Pine Mountain Club, but last second I just decided to stay on the highway and then uh, went up Mount Pinos. So we'll get a little hike in, but also it's nice to finally see and be up next to a limber pine for the first time in years. This is an absolutely stunning tree. This is actually one of the neatest specimens I've ever seen because of these multiple trunks meeting here at the base. 
Sometimes I love it when, sometimes I gotta admit, I love it when trees get a shrubby multiple trunk statures. Especially when the trunks are really large, it's just very picturesque. I'm gonna try to go up this little hill and try to get a more of a more of a horizontal view of the tree for you. Just so you can see that it's really short in height, but Okay. Oh man, this is the type of stuff I live for. Absolutely breathtaking tree here. The top of Mount Pinos is not that far from here actually. You just gotta follow the road. The road's just down there, in the dip a little bit. I remember I was just going up this way I think. I know I saw the radio towers. I saw the radio towers, not that far away. So we're about 8,700 feet here, and there you have it, beautiful Pinus flexilis, the noble limber pine. And of course, most of the rest of this forest is Jeffrey pine with some with some white fir mixing in here and there. Of course, the trees are more stunted up here because it's ferocious winds up here. A little bit drier too. It's a bit drier up here. Just look at that. Beautiful tree. Absolutely beautiful tree. Love this limber pine. There are more limber pines as you get towards the summit. For some reason, this one just took the cake. So now I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures of it. And I'll see you on the next clip. The next clip should be nearing the summit.